Hi friends. Today, uh, let us uh, talk about a few essays. And I know that uh, this is a time when everybody is preparing for their exams. So I'm going to read out a few essays. There are some essays which are there on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it and check out the essays from there. But I'm reading out some more for you. These should serve as guidelines because I believe that an essay or a composition is something that you compose for yourself and you are composing it yourself. So it should reflect your own ideas, your personal, uh, you know, wishes, your personal ideas. So make sure that you keep it original and creative. Of course, like always, I would say that yes, we do need to use good words. We do need to use idioms, proverbs, but uh, those are up to you how you use them. And believe me, when you try to avoid using words such as then this happened, then that happened, the essay becomes more beautiful. And it is uh, always possible that there might be some words which you already know, but you might not think of them as uh, difficult words. They might not come into the category of difficult words according to you. But remember that if you are using different words uh, in an essay, that also helps, uh, you know, improve the quality of your essays. It makes it uh, sound better and uh, it reads better it uh, you know the teacher likes it better as well and any person who's reading it would like it so let me start with the first one for today uh, this is an autobiography of a river so when you're talking about an autobiography it is your story and you are a river right so this is a story being told by a river about itself herself himself whatever gender you want to give it i always like it when essays don't start with i am a river but i'm reading out one essay to you where it starts in this manner and there's nothing wrong with it it's just that i feel that every essay could be written in a different way compared to what you have been told but let's listen to this one i am a river I was born from a hot spring in the mountains. My parents told me that I had to flow down the mountains and find my path or course, C-O-U-R-S-E. My mission is to travel across mountains and plains and merge into the ocean. I flowed down the mountains and was joined by my sisters. We formed a river. You understand what is being said here? That there are streams which are joining together and they are like sisters and they are forming a river. People started living on my banks. You know that uh, from uh, you know time immemorial people have settled on the banks of rivers because that, that is a basic need water is a basic need and that is why civilizations have flourished on the banks of rivers whether you consider the uh, you know Indus Valley civilization or the Chinese civilization or the civilizations in Iraq right people started living on my banks every day they would worship me. After all, they got life from me. The aquatic plants and animals also get life from me. Look at the play that uh, has been done between the past tense and the present tense. There are lots of places where, uh, you know, it is being written in the past tense, but there are places where it's switching to the present tense and there's nothing wrong with it. I have sparkling waters and my flowing waters make beautiful music. That is creativity and originality. All right, I'm reading out this uh, sentence again for you. 
I have sparkling waters and my flowing waters make beautiful music. I sing as I traverse the hills and mountains. When I fall on rocks, I feel hurt, but I know that I have an aim. You can use another word instead of aim, objective. So let me read that out to you again. I feel hurt, but I know that I have an aim to fulfill. After all, I am the giver of life to many creatures. I reflect the light of the golden sun and sometimes I look pinkish because pink flowers grow on my banks. I traveled a long distance and faced many trials and tribulations along my path. I crossed many barriers till I finally reached my destination, the sea. People who live near the ocean also throw pollutants in me. They throw garbage and litter my waters. This makes me feel miserable. Instead of saying this makes me feel very bad, you can do away with the very and use the word miserable. I request everyone not to pollute me. Otherwise, I might disappear from the earth. I hope you liked this particular essay on a river, the autobiography of a river. I'm going to read out many more essays also.